So here we have an 0102 model gem car that used to have two lead acid batteries in the front. We're going to put a big battery, 72 volt lithium, and one of the batteries is gonna go in the front compartment and the other second lithium battery is gonna go in this area right here. So because the battery is already 72 volts, we need to parallel them. And so when you get the lead acid batteries out, you're gonna have these two cables up here. And by doing a continuity test, you're gonna determine which of these cables uh, leads to the back and then which of these goes to the controller. So we've already ran the continuity test and we know this one goes to the back. So we're gonna use this cable to run as either the positive or negative bus, I haven't decided yet. So you can see we have bus bars. These are blue C uh, bus bars, four stud bus bars. And we're gonna use this to create the positive, positive negative polarity. So like I told you, this one goes to the controller. So we call this the first positive, if you're talking lead acid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna self tap these to this aluminum frame here. We're gonna put this cable on the positive bus. And then this cable will be the run to the back positive bus. Okay, this is the what you do before you put the battery in. You got the positive and the negative bus bar. You have the, the first positive to the controller. The second cable goes back to the positive bus bar in the back. This cable is going to the second negative bus bar in the back. We have the big battery cable connection to the front battery connected here, and we have it connected here. Next, we're gonna start putting the, we'll put the first battery in. Okay, the front battery has been mounted to the aluminum piece that's behind here using a couple L brackets. You can see the plug that we pre-built uh, at the bus bar is now installed. So we have our connections. Now back here, I'm gonna use the disconnect switch. It's gonna cut off the negative cable that's coming from the front battery bus bar. So my uh, negative cable from the, or from the, I'm sorry, from the gem car. So the main negative cable will go on this side and then this piece, this piece here will go to the bus. So we'll use this as a cutoff switch. And um, this is gonna be my positive. I'm using the big battery bus bar in this install. Uh, this will be the positive uh, from the front battery. So. Just to recap, the bus bar in the back, this cable goes to the front positive bus bar, again from the front. This is just a remote cable to use the on off switch. This was the main gem car negative DC lead, which will go on this pole here so I can use it. This switch is a cutoff uh, in addition to the power cutoff that the battery has on the button. Oh, by the way, this assembly with these uh, nuts or these bolts, self tappers actually had to come out. This this uh, e brake assembly had to be pushed out of the way to get this battery in this very narrow area. A little bit less time spent on showing you the back battery, just for because it's real simple. Once you get the front done, the most important thing to do is just keep track of your cable so I know from using continuity this is my positive cable from the first positive bus going to the uh, bu the positive side and uh, it's just get it on paper and draw it out that way it makes more sense anyway so no this is the positive cable so this is my positive bus here we have the cable goes to the the lithium battery and then we have a cable that goes to the charger and then we have a corresponding negative cable that goes to the charger and a corresponding negative cable that goes to the battery. And then this cable that I have this uh, loom on this sheath, that goes to my front negative bus bar. I built this cable and sent it under the car to here. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit of showing you. I got the big battery. I used a L bracket just to give it a, a grab. The charger sits over here. Real simple stuff.